welcome to Rock'em Replies, a stupidly named segment where I show you some music I like and then answer your questions. I usually like to kick things off with the song of the video and this particular song is by my friend Dean Williams who I can only describe as like the Australian Lenny Kravitz. He put out a single recently and that's a bit exciting because that's my friend and he did a thing and I know him. Dean Williams, it's called Back in the Game and I'm going to do my 30 second lip sync. <laughs> That groove is amazeball. So as I said, Dean Williams back in the game. I'll put a link in the description to that video clip and also where you can buy it on iTunes. All right, let's uh, start the questions, shall we? Jenny Perez, if you could be any magical creature, what would it be and why? I think the obvious choice for me is mermaid. I could also be a unicorn, except instead of a unicorn, I could be a lunicorn. Hey, lunicorns. Maybe we could all be the lunicorns and like, we can put an L on our foreheads like this. Looks like a dick. Sam wants to know, where did your love for 80s and rock come from? I don't know per se exactly where it came from. I was a child in the womb during the very late 80s and I assume that the 80s musical fusions got through my mum's uterus and, and I heard that while I was in utero. Um, that's a very scientific version of how things happen. My heart beats to an 80s synth drum, you know, like... <laughs> Jessica wants to know, would I rather poop unicorns or burp kittens? In my experience, pooping something so large may be perhaps painful to my anal region, especially something with a horn that might tear certain areas of buttocks. I don't want to go into the details, but I think if I burped kittens, I could wash my mouth out afterwards. It might be a little bit furry, but then I have a fucking little kitten and I could just be like, oh. I don't burp very frequently. Contrary to the popular belief that females do not poop, I do in fact frequently do that. And if I was frequently pooping unicorns, like as I said, pain factor. Annie, I recognize you. Are you Drooks? That's you, that's... Oh. Name your top three bands you would want to see or see again. See again, Bon Jovi purely because they didn't play always when I saw them live and I want to see that song performed live by Bon Jovi before I die. It is my song. It's the song that I first heard by Bon Jovi when I was a small child listening to the radio. And they owe me that. So that's one. Two, Van Halen. I oh, would just love to see Van Halen. And then three, Queen because of reasons do I need to explain. I see a little silhouette of a man Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, Galileo, Galileo. I could continue on. Michael Grant, this is a really good question and very topical right now. Thoughts on marriage equality in Australia. Here's my thought. Why the fuck is it not legal here? Why the fuck is it not a thing? Why, why? I don't get it. What? What? I am furious and I just really do not like the current government or the current Prime Minister and I feel like I can't say that because yes I can say that I can I have a voice and I'm gonna use it. The current government is being a poo. <laughs> Look I'm not gonna go into politics because I am not educated enough to speak eloquently about these things and like debate and stuff but we all know that the current government is doing absolute balls. Like seriously, are we in the stone age? Like what is going on? I don't get it. I've got the hiccups. I'm so angry I worked myself into a state of hiccups. Let's go to Twitter. Kelly, would you ever dye your hair rainbow? And here is the picture of my hair if it were dyed rainbow. I don't know. I think the hair looks kind of cool on me, but at the same time, I really like my red. I don't think that rainbow would be easy to maintain. Like the red would leak into the yellow and then the green would turn brown and just would not be a fun time. Jocelyn Patricia, what are your ultimate life goals? Oh my God, this is deep. I want to be really happy and successful at what I enjoy doing. Music, obviously music is such a big part of my life. Watch out guys, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be superstar. I'm gonna say it like it's happening and then if I say it like it's happening, 
it's gonna happen. Yeah, that's how the world works. Okay. Tumblr. I have one question from Tumblr. Innie or outie? I assume that's about my belly button. I have an innie and I have it pierced. Right, there's my belly button. Yay. Yay. That's my little freckle. That's my little freckle next to my belly button. I like to think that my belly button and the freckle are like best mates, but like the belly button is the more alternative mate because he got a piercing. This one is one from my last Rock and Replies video, which was a really long time ago. Uh, Tova wants to know, do you think you could sing The Colors of the Wind? Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? Or asked the grinning bobcat why he grinned? Can you sing with all the voices of the mountain? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Andy Ridley, do they eat kangaroos in Australia? Not everyone eats kangaroos in Australia, most people don't, but I will say that it is available at the supermarket to buy if you want to cook it. I have eaten kangaroo, it tastes like a really delicious beef, but then at the same time I feel really bad because that's fucking, it's, kang it's our kangaroo, it's kangaroo man. It's like eating Australia. Okay, so that's all the questions I have time for tonight. If you've got any questions for me, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them in the next Rock and Replies video. Thank you so much to this person for drawing me. And uh, that's all I got, so I will see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>